Hi everyone, this is Mike at Brash Monkey, and in this video I'm going to quickly show you a great new addition to the default pivot point setting feature in Spryder. As you may have already known, if you double click on any of the images in the file palette, it'll bring up the dialog which will let you edit its default pivot point by either clicking on the mouse or typing in values or using one of the uh, sort of quick setting icons here. Now the great new functionality added to this dialog really comes into play if you're using character maps. I'll link to a previously made video which explains character maps in greater detail. But here's an example scenario I whipped up to demonstrate. Let's say in your video game you want to offer your players a chance to customize their characters and one of the customization options is giving the character a nice tasteful simple hat. So you create this character map that's going to swap out this standard head image with the head image variation that has the nice simple understated hat. So you create the uh, head image with the hat, but that image is obviously going to be bigger to make room for the hat. So what happened was your nice simple understated hat image is so much bigger, um, it's going to be really in the wrong position compared to the body uh, until you fix its default pivot point. So. Uh, what you do now is, just like what you used to, you go into the folder that has that new image in it, you double click on it, but now the cool thing is, because I have this character map active, which uh, basically Spider knows that this target image is basically on screen, now when I click and drag to set my default pivot point, the canvas updates instantly so you can see exactly how the character map is going to look with the new image with its new default pivot point set so it makes it extremely easy to set your default pivot point properly when you're swapping out images that have very different sizes to one another now here's a more technical example of why this new feature is so useful this is a sneak preview of the latest art pack that we've been working on as you can see, it's been modeled and pre-rendered in 3D and gives you a nice 32 frame rotation of a uh, player's spaceship for a shmup game. And what's interesting is, by using character maps, you can swap out each component, like the cockpit, the top fins, like so, and the left fins, and right fin each individually so you can even create asymmetrical ships and uh, let's change some wings here there we go now one of the trickiest aspects of making this art pack was the fact that because these interchangeable segment designs would be drastically different in design uh, the image sizes for any particular segment could change drastically which needed some really careful positioning of the default pivot points of each new replacement image to make sure it lines up perfectly when you swap them in um, to change your ship. And the way we handled this is I had the 3D artist render out guide images that were saved out and cropped the same exact way as the full ships but only having the, uh, the new segment um, so that I can have basically guide images that are going to show me exactly where the new part should be. So for example, with, we're going to look at uh, what should be right fin three, I believe. There we go. So as you can imagine, let me move this over a little bit and go into right fin three. So originally, and this is for the ninth frame. So originally the default pivot point was over here. And then I have a guide image hidden here, so I'm going to show that. I'm going to right-click and choose Show All Images. So that guide Im image shows me where the actual fin should be in this frame. And then this is where it currently is due to the, the default pivot point for that replacement image not being in the right place. So now I have my guide and I have my uh, actual sprite that I need to fix its default pivot point for and then I would go into uh, modes and turn off smooth sampling and that's going to give me the actual pixels it's going to make it even easier for me to line up perfectly and then I can just find in the right fin 3 folder find that particular uh, image right fin 9 
double click and now when I start clicking and dragging you'll see again just like in the previous demonstration with that lovely hat the um, image updates in the canvas on the fly and now I can line it up perfectly and now I can even use the arrow keys to nudge it into perfect placement and then click OK. So I hope uh, you liked this video and I hope you find the new feature uh, enhancement very useful. Thanks a lot for watching.